Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for this is going to be what we're going to do is we're going to do an extensive spread on new love. And believe me, I, I have put a lot of questions in this. So this is going to give you the answers that you need, as well as the second part is going to be about X return. So you can find out good information for both spreads. You can check out both if you want. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Also, if you like a personal read me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. So the first reading we're going to do, first we're going to get started in, okay, new love. Then we're going to look at the X return. But I really have broken down these questions, so you're going to get some good information, okay? Because that's what it's about, trying to, do you know, to get a better understanding of what's going on with your situation. All right, so... What's going on, my Aries? It's like love life when it comes to new love. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's throw this down. All right. So there's going to be eight series of eight questions. Okay. And I'm going to go over each question in a moment because I don't want to confuse you guys. So I'm just going to... Lay all the cards down first, okay? And then we're gonna go into each question so that you can see the details of the situation. We see at the bottom of the deck, there seems to be some options here, Seven of Cups energy or a sense of confusion about happiness because of a decision or a sense of justice. Okay, so let's go down. We're gonna do three decks here, okay, for this. What's gonna happen my Aries? What do we need to know about my Aries romantic love life when it comes to love? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so again, we're gonna lay down multiple cards. These, each one of these piles represents a question. Okay, bottom of the deck, receiving something of value, something to do with the meeting and success. Okay, so let's see how this plays out. All right, last deck here. What's going to have my Aries, or what do I need to know about my Aries romantic love life when it comes to new love? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Guys, feel free, take a note. You know, if you have to, you can always replay it again. If anything, any, if I go too fast, okay. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we can just now move into the first question. So what's the first question? Your current situation. Okay, so we have the death card energy. We have, so this is the current situation. Okay, you can write that down. Current situation, okay, for new love. We're talking about new love here. There is some kind of argument or dispute. Some of you are coming out of a relationship. You're ending a relationship, all right? Or there's still some kind of dispute going on. Some of you may be coming out of a marriage, okay? Some kind of legal situation going on. There's some arguments, fights that are ending here. It looks like you guys are, some of you guys are now going into a situation where you're single and available to pursue. Some of you are coming out of a relationship because of a dispute or you're just coming out of a relationship for some of you guys. But we see single and available to pursue. Okay, so, all right, or there is still something that's gonna be resolved there around that situation for some of you guys. So that's the first question. Let's take a look at the second question. Okay, the second question is, what are the challenges and the blockages for you guys when it comes to new love? Okay. So what cards do we have here? We have the three of cups. We have the despair card. Okay. So your challenges, your blockages right now when it comes to new love. Well, some of you guys may not be going out. All right. Three of cups can talk about going out, celebration. There may be a, still a lot of regrets you're dealing with. All right. There may be a hidden aspect. As I said, some of you guys aren't getting out socializing because Three of Cups can talk about socializing. There could be something to do with a friend, okay, or a sense of joy. You're, you have, may have a lack of joy, some of you guys, and waiting for some kind of change in your despair. So we see a uh, despair card and needing to gain knowledge. You, you, like you've, you have a lot of unknowing. You like, like you're, you like, you have a lack of knowledge or you're not paying into your you're not paying attention to your intuition okay so, so for some of you okay so 
let's now see, okay, what the next question is. The next question is, why have I uh, been unable to move forward? So now we're asking, okay, why have you been unable to move forward? So let's see. We see that there could be a relationship, okay, a soulmate connection. Um, there may be, you want maybe some kind of communication from somebody that you wanted attention from, okay. Um, there is concerns about uh, balance also for some of you in a relationship, okay. Um, wanting a victory, wanting to be right, okay. Needing some kind of attention here uh, and some kind of communication, heart to heart conversations here. Okay, so let's keep going. So the next question is, what have, uh, what have you not seen about your situation when it comes to your romantic love life pertaining to new love? We see a relationship. We see some isolation, separation. I feel like what you guys aren't seeing is there's something to do with a relationship, a twin flame soulmate connection for some of you and feeling a little bit trapped or like your hands are tied or like you have to cut away some unhealthy things from the past when it came to a relationship because it's kind of trapping you, you're kind of going in this big loop here for some of you guys, okay? All right, so let's take a look now at number five, which is how do I best remove the blockages? Okay, some of you guys need more clarity, Ace of Swords energy, okay? You need a clarity, um, you need a victory, you need to get that aha moment, obviously. And we see some of you guys, there could be something surrounding travel or movement, all right? Something needs to change here. Okay, so going further on this. You're going to have to assert yourself and take charge of your destiny. And Ace of Swords shows me something to do with clarity is the answer here for you guys to remove your blockages. When it comes to travel or somebody who's far away from you or some kind of distance around this, okay? Or some of you guys, it could even be saying, you know, travel go on a vacation, all right? Take control of your situation. Focus on change and getting these answers. Okay, so let's see now. Okay, that was five, that's six. Where should I, my focus be? Where should my focus be? So, letting go of your burdens and responsibilities. Don't let this weigh heavy on you when it comes to a new situation. Be more playful, okay? Um, for fresh start, look toward a fresh start, a new opportunity. What's gonna fulfill your desires here? Don't let these burdens, responsibilities get you. Bring things into balance here, okay? Something needs to be brought into balance here because uh, it looks like some of you guys have a lot of responsibilities or this is really weighing heavy on you, but you gotta be a little bit more carefree about it and let this situation come into balance. Okay, so we're now going into seven, okay, which is what are my next best steps? Okay, so we see the Eight of Pentacles energy. You gotta put work or effort into or focus on work or money or pay attention to the details here. That is saying wait, Give, be patient here, okay? So being patient here and expect something good to come in, okay? We see put the work or effort into this expectation that you have of waiting, be patient here, and we see focus on something long-term and be careful about repeating patterns here. All right, or don't feel like this is a lot of effort for you guys, just be patient, okay? That also could be the Eight of Pentacles energy. So now the final question is, will new love be coming in in the next three months? Okay, so let's see. Okay, so it looks like it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks like you guys have multiple options here actually, because the garden card talks about more than one person here, okay? We see could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It's gonna happen sudden with the Knight of Swords energy. And yes, there is gonna be some feelings here. Somebody you're gonna have real feelings for, it's gonna be pretty sudden. It's gonna happen pretty sudden, pretty fast. It's gonna be a whirlwind for some of you guys. So let's break this down and I want to I want you guys to see this as a whole, okay? And so let's just move this to like this, like this, okay, like this. Okay. Okay, move that there. Just organizing everything, guys. All right. All right.
All right, so you can read it all the way through, as you can see, okay? There's some arguments, disputes about despair and a victory because of the trapped energy, because of some kind of travel, movement, or change, or some foreign element, all right, or someone who's far away. We see there's a new person coming in, something that you've been waiting for, and we see it could be more than one person. Going down another layer here. We see that there was an ending of a relationship, uh, something that uh, there was still a focus on this ending, uh, or something really big is changing here in your current situation. We see there could be a friendship and a relationship or a twin flame soulmate connection and needing some kind of clarity. There's a lot of burdens and responsibility because of work for some of you guys, but something is going to be cut away or cut out, or this person could be coming in through work for some of you, or school for some of you. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so we see single and available to pursue knowledge of some kind of communication, needing to cut away some uh, unhealthy things from the past, taking control of your situation to bring things into balance, and committing yourself to your heart or following your heart here with the romantic feelings card. See, I told you. All right, so. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, we're gonna move into the extra turn. And again, this one's gonna be a lot more extensive, but some of you guys that are looking for new love also will get some good information from you too. So let's find out here. So what's going on with my Aries X love interest? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on with my Aries ex love interest? What's going on with this situation with their ex love interest? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on with my Aries ex love interest? Cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so the first two cards we're gonna look at is what are their thoughts, what are their feelings? Okay, so we got thoughts. We got feelings, okay? So let's first look at those at first, okay? So we see, okay, we see, okay. So let's take a look at this person's thoughts, first of all. So your ex interests, your ex love interests, their thoughts about you at this time. They feel like there is, or are they thinking that there's some kind of deceptions here, something hidden about the situation, something is not what they thought it was. And uh, they wanna be right here, they want your attention. They are thinking about you with a four swords energy. They're doing some kind of planning around the situation. Okay. So let's now move into how they feel. They feel like there is this argument, this fight, and they feel sad about it. They do feel like you guys are spiritually connected with the spiritual card energy coming out. As I said, if I'm going too fast, you can always, you know, write this down, stop, you know, rewind it. You yeah, rewind like a tape, right? <laughs> Play it back. <laughs> okay, so the third one question is why is this not working? Like what's the resistance? Okay, so we got the chariot card energy. We have the balance card and we have the letter card. Okay, so there may be a lack of communication or some issues around a text message letter or document. There are some issues that are not in balance. Some of you guys are far away from this person or there's a lack of desire or drive around the situation. Okay, so that's the resistance. We're gonna bring it all together as a bigger picture, don't worry. Okay, so we got number, that's number three, number four. Okay, number four is, what is this person, okay, what this person wants from you? What does this person want from you? Okay, well, you can see what they want from you, okay. That's interesting, ace of wands, okay. Okay, um, okay, straight up. I know this is the coffin card, but look what the card it's next to. This person wants some potential passion situation there, okay? <laughs> What does this person want from you? They want passion. They want this. They're gonna want this very soon. Like the waiting's gonna be over. They're gonna want some kind of decision about this passionate situation, because um, 
like the Lenormand, this is a very literal card, okay? Because this can represent some, you know, some kind of thing here for passion and exercises. Okay, so what do they want from you? Passion, okay. Passion and exercises, got it. Okay, so let's go to number five. Okay, so number five is, what do I need to do to improve this romance? Okay, so number five is, what do I need to do to improve this romance? All right, we got the Page of Swords, we got the Money Card Energy, and we got the Concerns card. So what do you need to do? See things from a new way, a new perspective, all right? Um, don't be naive. Ace of Pentacles, look at this more towards the long term or don't let your money and finance get in the way. Uh, also, some of you guys, there could be a lot of worry and concern that you need to work on, okay? New aid, new perspective, um, new ideas, possibly not letting others influence your thoughts here as well. All right, so that could be for some of you as well, okay? So we're gonna bring it all together, okay? All right, so. One, two, three, four, five, all right, six. We're not doing their actions, okay? So what are they gonna do or not doing their actions towards you, okay? Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, it looks like their actions are gonna be moving towards some kind of relationship or love here. And they want some kind of yes or something's gonna happen with their actions when it comes to a relationship. Now we're talking about relationship, uh, actions towards you. So we see this is to do with a commitment, a relationship. Six talks about healing, recover, love, and a choice towards the heart because of an opportunity. Okay, well, that's looking good. That is looking good, okay. Okay, so seven. Now we're gonna go into seven. Okay, yeah, we got three, six, okay, seven. Seven. Seven is how will the communication be? So when they do take this action towards this relationship, this opportunity, how will it be? How will communication be? So uh, some kind of like um, naivete, also with the full card energy, hesitant to take a risk also. Uh, there's still gonna be like this sense of, I'm not gonna tell you everything, but there's gonna be happy energy around it, okay? With the 10 of cups energy. So let's keep going. Okay, so we got eight now. Eight is, is there another person on their mind? Okay, we got the page of cups. We got the socializing card and burn. So for some of you, there may be a couple of people on this mind, this person's mind, okay? It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, uh, but they're kind of distanced from it. So it doesn't look like it's too close, okay? Um, but they're definitely confused about what they wanna do as far as options go when it comes to work or effort. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so uh, number nine is, will I be happy with this person if they return? Okay, we see the three of wands, we see the military person, and we see shocked and surprised. Well, it seems like you're very, very shocked and surprised. You'll feel like you'll have a sense of a breakthrough here, but you're gonna still kind of be waiting here for your ships to come in, or possibly even waiting for other opportunities for some of you guys. You definitely feel very powerful and in control there, okay, with the Emperor card energy. Okay, going further. Okay, so we got, uh, should I move on? is there uh, for my Baha'i has best good. So should you move on? Okay, so yeah, because this is, uh, will I be happy with this person if they return? Should I move on? Okay. Okay, well, 10 of Pentacles is here. Mm. Okay, so the question is, should you move on for your highest best good? And it is leaning towards the yes for you guys, okay? Cause it shows me something uh, pertaining to marriage and long term here, family and something that's gonna be a really positive situation for you. So when it comes to this love connection, it is saying it is leaning towards yes for moving on. Okay, so 
However, you have free will, so it's up to you. Um, okay, the next question is, will they return in the near future, like the next three months? Okay, so we got the Five of Pentacles, we got this Confusion card, and we have this Healing card. So it looks like something's gonna happen here, but it looks like it may take longer than three months because we had this, still some things yet to be decided because of this confusion. We saw this over here when we were asking about other people on this person's mind. There's this sense of loss. Needs, this person needs to lose the sense of confusion and for things to still heal. So there's still some things that have to be worked out with this person and this connection, okay? All right, so going further here, okay. Um, I would say what the next question would be, will they return in the near future? Okay, we looked at that. Um, so we see what's gonna be the future in the next three months. Okay, so we see there's a lot of passion and some changes because of somebody possibly could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So there's some chemistry and passion with somebody here and some big changes that are gonna happen, okay, with your romantic love life. Okay, so what's your advice? Your advice is you gotta have to make some kind of decision here. So coming up, you guys are gonna have to be discerning and make some kind of decision because it looks like you're gonna have some options here coming in, okay? It's saying you're gonna hit the jackpot here, okay? So you're gonna have some choices. There we got the two card energy. Some sudden abundance is coming in for you guys. But you're a little bit defensive or you got your wall up here. So you have to realize it's safe for you to love and you're gonna to have to make this decision to focus on the fact that there's positive things coming in for you, okay? So we go forward. There is a victory here um, when it comes to the sad news because of text message, letter, or document, an ending of concerns because of relationship. Someone who hasn't been honest or there's some deceptions here about long time and control or lack of control because of a marriage and healing a situation or a commitment and big changes happen sub suddenly. Big changes are gonna happen for you guys suddenly. Okay, going further here, Aries. Okay, so a lot of thinking, contemplating about arguments and desires towards an, a potential opportunity of passion. Uh, a sense of naivete in a relationship and uh, someone new. We see uh, messages of love or new potential love and waiting for this long-term situation with family. A loss of lack of commitment because needing to make a choice, a heavy choice to a pentacles energy. More passionate actions coming up. Knight of Wands energy. Okay, so let's continue further on this. Okay, so uh, someone, uh, this like sense of deception, someone's using your intuition to bring things into balance. We see very soon something of value is coming in, an opportunity which is gonna make you very happy. You're gonna have more than one choice or options, the big changes are gonna happen which are gonna be happy, a happy surprise for you guys. And uh, you're going to get some kind of confusion because of some obsessive energy or the confusion is coming because of some kind of obsessive energy, obsessive desires, and cautious energy about getting hurt. Safe heart energy. And I just want to give you guys a little bit more advice before I let you go for the extra turns. Okay, any other thing that Aries needs to know for their romantic love life that they need to know that could help them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. Oh wow, you got you got the superpower, Aries. So you're more powerful than you realize, okay? And you're about to receive something of value here. Because you just know it. I feel like you guys know it because you're gonna put the work into this situation, or you're about to receive some things, and some some of you it's gonna be through work here. We see the expertise card coming out. Okay, and we see love here. You guys need to know that. But keep focusing on love in your manifestation, in your heart, in your mind, okay? And know that you have choices, that you have a lot of choices coming in, okay? So, and superpower for me can talk about also like the emperor card energy. You have more power, you have more control than what you realize. Get ready to receive 
and uh, I definitely feel like you guys have the expertise, the know-how, the experience, all right, to overcome any situation in your romantic love life. All right, my beautiful Aries, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.